Hey, good morning. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, my name is Todd, and uh, we're going to introduce you to my new Weber 22 Performer. I picked it up really cheap, and uh, I'm almost embarrassed to say how cheap I got it for. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Ooh. So today, I'm going to show you my Weber Performer 22. Picked this thing up uh, really cheap. And I'm kind of embarrassed to tell you how much I paid for it, but uh, let's just say much less than uh, that MSRP of 250 bucks. Um, went to the Navy Exchange and uh, really got it for a song and dance. It was already assembled. All I had to do was just throw it in the back of my truck and go. Felt like I was stealing baby from a candy. I'm sorry, candy from a baby. Uh. So anyway, quick view. Um, I haven't used it yet. It's got this nice little cradle here for the uh, lid. Um, works really nice so far. It's got this neat little attachment here. Um, if you want to uh, put a wok in there or a uh, beer can chicken, I think it's pretty neat. Um, sometimes I wok. And I went ahead and picked up one of these little sear baskets. So got a couple of them. Uh, Weber accessory. Um, I was going to make my own, but uh, that'll probably be another video. It's got a neat little charcoal grill or rack there. And also their little patented little clean out doodad. I don't know what you call it. Um, see the back side of the uh, thermometer and the back side of the vent. Um, so, general impression right now is that it's, uh, the kettle itself is, is pretty nice. The fit is really nice. The uh, finish is uh, exceptional. Um, this particular Performer model has a, a rubber handle on the uh, the vent uh, thing right there could get hot sometimes, um, from what I understand. It's got these little hooks for hanging utensils. It's got a flimsy little wire rack, probably hold about 50 pounds, I guess. Um, so far, my impression on the wheels, they're plastic, and uh, the front ones are locking. Um, at least it won't mar your cement if I have to worry about, but I wouldn't really go rolling around the block with these things. The uh, shovel holds down for stowage. It's just sheet metal, feels like maybe 22 gauge, 24 gauge. Um, I wouldn't trust it more than. 50 pounds, so you can put a brisket on there, no problem. Um, down below, I've got a pretty convenient little ash cleaner, which is really nice. And then it's got the lever for the actual lower vent and ash uh, clean out there. So the thermometer is uh, a Weber thermometer. I'm not sure who makes it. I'm not sure how accurate it is. But uh, it's on the side that you're gonna, if you're offset cooking, you're gonna put the coals. And so it's probably not a very accurate reading since the vent's gonna be on the opposite side for the smoke flow. I was thinking of putting a, my own thermometer right about here, drilling a hole. Also, by the way, this hole is probably big enough, you could probably drop a thermometer right in there and get a temporary reading. But, uh, probably mess with the smoke flow so anyway there you go tell me what you think uh any ideas for uh, modifying this i understand there's a weber kettle club uh youtube channel and uh, uh i'm gonna start going to uh that channel and get some some ideas for cooking so so if you like our videos hit like subscribe and uh hit the little bell so you get updates and uh love to hear your uh, impressions and and ideas and uh, other things that you might be interested in